one of the reasons why I started developing this app was um, I went to find a fix some dude motor truck that I knew I had because I wanted to make some to donate to a, uh, a children's hospital. And I was like, okay, I dug through my things. I did a file search. And I'm like, I know I have these models in here. Um, it was the fire truck that I wanted to do. Um, and so ultimately, I, after, you know, after probably way too much time of searching, I gave up, went out to things or went out to print and redownloaded the file. Um, I was like, there has to be a way to be able to search these more efficiently uh, and be able to keep track of your models and, and create the library. So then the next morning I woke up and I'm like, huh, I wonder if there's anything like that out there. Um, started Googling, found a couple of projects, found one that was pretty old that had been abandoned, found one that kind of used a client server type of thing um, that um, met a lot of what I was wanting to do, but not all of them. Um, so I just started, you know, I decided to put something together for my personal use and then said, hey, I should spend some time, make this something that people might actually use. And uh, next thing you know, there's quite a few people that were expressing interest in it. So um, completely free. It's probably, you know, it's, as far as, as far as I'm concerned, it's always going to be free unless something changes significantly about that. And if it does, it'll likely just be premium options, premium features, but I've been focused on making sure I can keep it free. Um, 